place learners it's session number four and uh, one of the learners Chloe suggested trying um, activity with um, drawing a back of a lady and then um, doing the skirt with different mediums so I gave it a little bit of creative tw twist and uh, I hope you like it um, in our group you could see there was very simple um, drawing activity kind of exercise to help you to create the basic drawing step by step. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, don't worry, you can cut out um, a figure from the magazine, outline that on a piece of paper, and then just alter that uh, accordingly. So we are basically going to play designers of skirts, and I'm looking forward to see uh, what you create. And again, this is very similar uh, like we did uh, well, a couple of weeks ago when we created color wheel. You have to use what you have in the house. Um, you can use any technique, any material. I will give you demonstration with watercolor, uh, acrylic paint and in pasta way and with um, colored pencils. But you can use whatever you have from collage to uh, any wet mediums. Um, so just have fun and here are just quick examples of the work which I filmed for you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Okay, so the first one I'm working with is watercolour. You could be using inks um, or anything that is a fluid medium. So I'm just going to mark where the skirt would be going. Gently with pencil. It gives me idea where to apply paint. So this one I'm just making very, very wide. And I'm going wet on wet by wetting the paper first. And then applying my fluid watercolors and standard watercolors. my fluid watercolor it may look like ink but actually it is watercolor I also have this fluid watercolor and I'm gonna switch to standard watercolors now So here notice I'm just dragging the color. I'm not I'm only adding water, I'm not working with wet, wet brush, I'm not adding any more pigment. Very simple, very relaxing, allowing the color to bleed one into another. If there's any gap you want to fill in, go with water and drag the color from surrounding areas. So I'm going to let it dry, oh, that looks good, this is going to be my first one. Okay. 
The second one I'm using is acrylic paint without any water and in passed away. So quite thick application with a card or piece of cardboard. I'm doing the same, just giving different shape to the actual skirt this time. And I'm just going to apply, have some paint left of this overs from my previous section. Session, sorry. And I'm just creating pattern. And the third idea is to work on black paper with colored pencils. If you don't have black paper, do not worry. You can use white paper, paint it with black paint, and then apply just standard colored pencils um, on top of that. That will work. If not, you know, use something else, different technique that you can invent yourself. So again, I'm just marking. And here I'm just going to be blending some colors by application with a bit of pressure so you get the pigment out. <laughs> 